Maybe we'll see the Kona Challenge tonight. If we do, I'll let you know what that is. I haven't talked about that at all tonight. And that's a good thing. Lights in the car corner, pace truck are out. As Terrence Robinson and Bullet Bobby Frisch are going to bring the field around. And we're going racing this next time by. And they're going to pick up speed. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Green flag and we're racing. And it looked like we had some drama in the get-go with Brock Banky and Justin Wagner in the back. But the battle's for the lead up front between Bobby Frisch and Terrence Robinson. Terrence Robinson winning a heat race earlier, and he wants the feature. Down out of turn two, they're coming. It's Terrence Robinson and Bobby Frisch down the backstretch. Johnny Robinson is the brother of the 29, Terrence Robinson, but that doesn't mean they don't race against each other, which they do. Towards the middle there, Howie Ware trying to hold off John Featherston as they're entering turns three. Coming out of turn four, battle still in the lead as the two leaders make contact. And Johnny Robinson wants in on the action. He's going to close the door on his brother Terrence Robinson and keep him on the inside. And Robinson got a little loose there. That's Terrence Robinson, the 29, as he lost a little momentum, but he's back at it again. And Terrence Robinson is back up next to Bobby Frisch. As they're coming into three and four. As the battle for the league continues. Five down, 20 to go for the Bargain Hunter Sportsman. Frisch hanging on by maybe three quarters of a car and that's about it. Now a half a car. Now he's got a full car length lead now over Terrence Robinson. Terrence Robinson trying to slide to that outside spot, but his brother Johnny is blocking him from doing that. As they come out of turn four, Bobby Frisch now, your leader all by himself. Terrence Robinson and Johnny Robinson will do battle for second with Howie Ware running fourth. Your fast qualifier, Justin Sellers, running fifth. Down the back stretch they go into three and four. Terrence Robinson dropping back a little bit now as brother Johnny might be securing second place and he does. Terrence Robinson says I better grab third. He gets right in front of Howie Ware now. So we'll see if Howie Ware goes to challenge him as Justin Sellers is right behind Howie Ware. Derek Fry right there on the edge of Patrick Featherston. He's trying to grab that spot from Featherston. That is the battle for seventh place. The top eight cars are pulling away from everybody else. 10 down, 15 to go, 14 to go this time by for Bobby Frisch. Bobby Frisch now has a little bit of a comfort zone, a little bit of a cushion there. His first, second, and third are basically spaced about the same apart. And fourth at that. Garrick Fry and Patrick Featherston battling down the back stretch as Fry's on the inside. And they're coming out of turn four. Into one they go. Everybody else is single file racing. Fry has the advantage now over Featherston in the 71. As now Garrick Fry secures the seventh position away from Patrick Featherston. And he's going to set his sights on the 47 of John Featherston. And it looks like Johnny Robinson is caught back up to Bobby Frisch with laps winding down. Nine laps to go this time by for Bobby Frisch. Down the back stretch they go. A little bit of battle in the back between Justin Wagner in the 73 and the 11 of Josh Lundy. They're behind Brock Banky. Everybody else is single file racing. Yep, Johnny Robinson now looking to the inside of Bobby Frisch. It's going to be now or never as the battle will go on. 
And he's going to come around, look to get alongside of him if he can. Nope, he can't do it. He tucks back to protect from his brother Terrence, keeping him on the inside. Six laps to go, this time by for Bobby Frisch. All right, here they come around. Bobby Frisch is still your leader with five laps to go. Johnny Robinson looking to the inside of Frisch. And he lost a little momentum that time as he did it. Terrence Robinson right behind him. Terrence Robinson will race him for a second. As he's right there. Howie Ware wants it on the action. Howie Ware hanging on to fourth. He went to the inside of Robinson. Robinson protected. Three to go for Bobby Frisch. Robinson and Robinson, the battle for second. Keep your eye on that. And now Howie Ware. Whoa, we got a spin out. Justin Sellers, John Featherston, and Garrick Fry all part of that. You can see some damage on the 96 of Garrick Fry on that front right. All right, car corner pace truck ducking off as they're going to get them, get them wound up. Down the back stretch they go. And they're now going to be entering the raw steel collision center restart zone. Let's try it. Here we go. Three laps to go. Great flag and we're racing. Into turn one. The brothers Robinson are right behind Frisch. We'll see if they can catch him. Here comes Ware. He's going to try to close the door on Terrence to lock up that third spot, and I think he does, and he just did. Howie Ware now has third place. Johnny Robinson wants the lead. He's going for the lead with two to go. Terrence Robinson gonna battle back with Howie Ware. White flag is out for Bobby Frisch. Howie Ware hanging on to third with everything he's got. Terrence Robinson right there as the last lap is out. It's now or never for Johnny Robinson. Here we go. Here comes the checkered flag. And here comes your winner. It's going to be Bobby Frisch. Johnny Robinson finishes second. Howie Ware gets third. Terrence Robinson fourth. And Josh Lundy rounding out the top five. So Josh Lundy get the man with the move as he decided to go to the inside lane and moved up several positions. So good call by Josh Lundy. And I know this is one happy camper. He's had struggles all season long with the car sponsored by Windsor Pizza Parlor. Morning Wood, Morning Wood Tree Service. And my mic is cutting out. s and Incorporated, JP Motorsports. Windsor, Windsor, Pizza, Windsor Pizza Parlor. Dolmans, mufflers, and exhaust at a South Beloit. Eisman's Automotive Repair. And they're out of Rockford, Illinois. And I think I got everybody on the car. Mac Tools, Carry Bucket, Century 21. XL Contract, and his own cup, Frisch Signs. I think he's left just about every car here. Make some noise, it's Bullet, Bobby, Frisch. All right, the, the mic started up on me, of course, and I, I don't know why it has to be. Yeah, all right, <laughs> Bobby, congratulations, man, you know, I know this had to mean a lot to you tonight because you have had nothing but struggles with this car up until tonight. So I know you've put a lot of time and effort into it and you've had a lot of people doing it. Let's talk about the struggles and, and you finally making it in here into victory lane tonight. Yeah, this is an awesome Fowler's car from last year. We kind of re, we kind of re, uh, redid everything on it and uh, it hasn't been going so well so far, but uh, it's coming around thanks to uh, Tim Sargent, he's been helping me out. Him and Randy have been helping me a lot, getting us set up on this thing. And uh, obviously, thanks to Austin for letting me drive the car. All these great sponsors, you know, these, these sponsors, the only reason I'm racing, they, the uh, Morningwood and the S&J guys, like, 
you know, if you want to go racing, I, I'm, I'm behind you. So that made me change my mind on going back racing. I ain't racing five years out here, so down, now I'm back and winning on a feature right away it, it is uh, good. And uh, our family is uh, we, we, four sportsmen have raised four features so far this year, and our, my, my family has won all four of them. That's a clean sweep so far. Now, Bobby, um, I wanted to talk about here your company. I think you've lettered like every car out here. I know you even lettered my son's car. <laughs> yeah, I letter a lot of cars out here, and uh, that's really fun to do. And uh, you know, I appreciate every, everybody lets me do their cars and make them look good, and uh, I, I appreciate it, and uh, I love doing it, so I hope I do it for a long time. And last question, how many years have you been racing now? I've been racing just my 25th year. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, Bobby, congratulations. Rock for Speedway fans, one more time, make some noise for Bullet Bobby Frisch.